tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Our insights must be backed by data, right? And uh, the value of market research right now is, is more intense. Everybody, all the communicators all over the world. Well, I think basically uh, we're all looking for something consistent. We're all looking for something credible. We're all looking for something solid. You know, for example, uh, there's uh, some information discrediting the World Health Organization. For example, there's a documentary posted online that they're actually being influenced by uh, Chinese money. So we are all looking for something that does not shake the very institutions that we believe in. And this is where it's becoming a free for all. And I think you raised a very good point because that's part of the credibility aspect of communicators and a sense of responsibility because they must be sensitive to the audiences and uh, making sure that they, first of all, get the truth. The manner of delivery must be uh, carefully handled. Because information, especially during a time like this, is very, very crucial. Mm -hmm. And we yes. handle with care. Yes. And, and also, the, yeah, also go ahead. to add to that, uh, whether you speak in English or in Filipino, kailangan parating malumanay. Kailangan, alam mo yung pulso, alam mo yung kiliti ng tao. Pag ang tao, tinrato mo ng mas mababa sa iyo, may problema ka na. Okay, so maybe that's where social media came in to fill up this vacuum because people were, were looking for news. But it's so sad because if you de depend on Facebook for 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 your news, it's like depending on Disney for, for literature, right? <laughs> it's so wrong. There are so many things wrong with that. So what what happens now is, well, there is, there is a need for... For news to be relevant, news for be what to be exactly uh, informative to tell us to tell us the things that we need to hear or to tell us what we cannot have. Okay, so for me, I think it was highlighted that the media was so different in each of the era. I mean to say the 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 media during the time of the martial law to the time of the post. As a revolution to the time of the 2000 uh, year and to the time of the internet, which is around 2006 to 2010. All of those changes are different from one another. It's because of the difference in values of the Filipino people. It has degraded from the time being the martial law, which was a, an act of values, from the time of the uh, uh, a revolution, it was a very freehand values, so nobody defined it so ex explicitly and uh, nobody claimed what should be done, what should define an, an, an independent nation. So all those values are all conflicting with one another. During the time of 2000, we got the CY generation. So they, they are in the loose, so what, what is the video all about? And then comes the internet. We have the social media and then the more that everything is cluttered. And now that we have the new normal, we don't know any more of the values that we're talking about. All those four generations have been swiped out because uh, there are no values to be talking about. Well, um, the discussions are very, you know, very good. The, the two things have come to my, to my uh, attention about the discussion and those were you know, the, the technology has grown so fast. The, the digital adoption, the social media actually came out so fast. Uh, even, you know, even the traditional uh, media and news business uh, really didn't uh, caught up. And governments are, are almost literally caught flat-footed. Um, the other thing is um, the commercialization. Just like Bill mentioned earlier and, and Boyet, uh, commercialization actually kind of, oh, you know, probably not the good term, but it's it's more like they, it really put the quality down. 
in a way on on the the most basic of all say uh news uh as a feed they the uh, uh because of that it's i think you know it really suffered uh it degraded in a way and somehow it um the credibility the trust uh, uh suffered in a way yes so, you think it helps that we're all friends tonight and uh this has really given me a lot of uh it is a tremendous blessing on easter day to share my easter with you people with you guys with the guests and i really thank you from the bottom of my heart v81 thanks boots bill velasco boot season and boy at season thank you so much for sharing this valuable easter with us tonight because as we all agree yes it's love guys it's about love oh. <laughs> getting us <into> korean <laughs> easter easter is about hope and easter is about love and uh, i think it's it's a great parting message that we are now going to share with our audiences out there that we must care for one another let's be careful let's be mindful uh this powerful tool called the cell phone you know, can be used for greater good and that makes each and every one a communicator when you have this tool it's important that we use it with care, with a lot of respect, especially during this time of pandemic. Um, and the power of communications is now the power that everybody has at, the, at their palm. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila.